Guys, I'm, I'm finally back with another video. Sorry I didn't make any video sooner because the last couple of weeks it was so busy for me. I had to find an exam, so the last couple of weeks I couldn't make any video sooner. So, but I'm now back and I will do a video. And this video is a requested video. So the topic of this video is about my watch. As you know, I own a Rolex watch, so I will do a kind of review and what you get and the experience I got. So. Let's get started. So guys, this is the box. And inside this box, it comes with another box. And on the lid is written Rolex. And this is the green box. This green box is made of... On the side is made of wood. And on the top part, like this, the wavy part uh, is made of... I believe it's made of leather and it has also the golden crown over there. And when you open this, it just look it will look like this. And over here you have a one flap, and in this flap we have like uh, a booklet and just tells you how they will how they make the Rolex and the functionality of the watch itself. And then in this, this is my authenticity card. Um, I will not show you the numbers because for the safety reasons, I will not show that. But I bought this July 2014, so it's almost one year old. And on the back, you have also this is a guarantee card. It tells you the guarantees in different languages, etc. Because of that, it came also with the hologram uh, uh, tag. You can see the hologram, and it is Swiss made. It comes also with this tag, Rolex and Oyster model swim proof, and the serial number, I believe. And also with this tag, where the price is stamped on there. It came also with this uh, bezel protector. Uh, the bezel it means like this part, so it protects the bezel like this. And this is the watch that I have. This model called the uh, Rolex Oyster Day Just Two. This is the newer model. The pre previous model Day Just One of Just uh, Day Just. Uh, the face of the watch was smaller. I believe it was like 37 or 38 millimeter, and this is 41 millimeter from here to here. It's, uh, 41 millimeter, and mine is in uh, mine watch is made of steel, but the bezel, this part, is made of white gold. The rest of the watch is made of steel, and if you can see the inner part of the watch, the chain. Uh, is the shiny silver and the outer part is made of the matte finish uh, steel and then if you can see the face of my watch I believe last year when I purchased this watch uh, this face was the new release so it was very new color that I had so I immediately chose this color because the contrast with dark, dark grey with this steel uh, looks very attractive to me and if you can see I have 10 diamonds in my watch so except for the 12 and the 3 hours the rest is uh, in, is in diamonds and yeah and on the side on the crown you can see it's also focus. it's also engraved with Rolex crown and here on the back is also a Rolex crown over there and this is the clasp so you open like this and on the inside like here you have also some engraving yeah something I don't know what it means but it's just engraving with Rolex 
made in Geneva, Swiss made, and something and some code. Don't know what it means, but so this is the watch, guys. So how does it work? So you basically you have to twist this, this crown part. So this will pop open, and then you have to twist this part to generate the mode of the watch. Otherwise, it will stop uh, walking the watch. Then, when you push it once, push when you push it one time, then you can uh, set the date. As you can see, you can set the date like that. And when you further pull it off, you can then set the time. That is the basically basically what you need for this watch. So when you push it back the first step is to generate the motor when you push it further is to set date and the last when you pull it further it will set uh, time the hour and minutes and when you want to close it you have to push it and twist it at the same time so if I wear the Rolex it will look like this on my wrist so I purchased my watch not in Holland where I live but I purchased this in Germany the reason I purchased it in Germany is because one it is cheaper over there than when I purchased here in the Netherlands the second I get more discount over there than in Holland and the fourth my whole family purchased yeah, luxury watches over there so I'm the fourth person uh, that purchased a luxury watch, watch so to give me extra additional discount so for me it was worth the right to go to Germany and purchase there my watch and they give me like maybe one two or maximum three percent which in Germany they gave me like more five till ten percent and also as I said my father my mother and my brother purchased luxury watches over there so I'm the fourth person that yeah that purchased a luxury watch there and so my whole family is a loyal customer so they gave me an additional discount and yeah, that is that is the reason that we're gonna purchase luxury watches in Germany for the extra discount so it's totally worth the right if you calculate the discount price how much you save up but and you minus the gas cost and so eventually you save much more when you purchase it in Germany than when, you, when I purchase here in Holland so that is my reason that I purchased in Germany and if you are interested how to purchase a luxury or Rolex watch I can a whole not video for you guys and I will tell you my experience, my process of purchasing a Rolex watch and if you're interested I can do it in another video but for now I will thank you for watching this video and I will see you soon in my next video. Bye!